Are you honoring your fathers, even though they were a substance abuser, absent, or just a genuinely good man? Exodus 20.12 tells us to honor your mother and your father so that you may have long life in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. Honoring our parents seems to be one of the top 10 struggles of this generation. But the rise of our knowledge and narcissistic abuse is only creating more of that divide. Sometimes it's hard to love the lessons that we go through, especially if you can't see the forest for the trees. But when a divine plan and purpose finally unfolds in your life, where your understanding finally connects to your experience, you can count it all joy for the trials and tribulations that you experience because it prepared you for this perfect season. Patience is the key ingredient to understanding. Even with the fatherless generation, there's no man here left on this earth without guidance, whether it's from a mentor, coach, uncle, brother, grandparent, and so on. Even Joseph was an earthly father for Jesus and was literally on the brink of divorce from Mary before the angel came down and told him about the miracle that Mary was holding. Even if your father wasn't the best, do not continue to carry on his mistakes. Let go of that generational curse so that your descendants may be free. Seek God for the healing in those areas. Take the lessons that you've learned from those experiences. Count it all joy. Be the change that you want to see. And honoring your fathers does not only give you long life, but it's generational longevity. Forgive and let go. And for the ones out there breaking the fatherless generational curse, stepping up for fatherless children, leading their family in godly way, God sees you and he's proud of you. Thank you for your example. Happy Father's Day.